Every chemical molecule is unique in the wavelengths of electromagnetic energy that it can absorb. As previously mentioned, carbon dioxide absorbs infrared wavelengths of heat. Ozone absorbs ultraviolet light, or UV light. This is fortunate since UV light can also be absorbed by DNA. When UV light strikes the bases of DNA, it can cause two DNA bases, thymine bases to be specific, to adhere to each other, forming a thymine dimer. When the cell tries to replicate its DNA, this dimer is confused for a single base and a mutation can result. There is so much UV light which reaches the Earth from the Sun that, were much of this energy not absorbed in the atmosphere, the organisms which live on land would suffer many mutations and life on land would be impossible. For the majority of Earth's history, life on land was impossible. It was only after photosynthesis had produced enough atmospheric oxygen to create an ozone layer that life occurred anywhere other than the ocean. An ozone layer is necessary to protect terrestrial life from harmful ultraviolet rays. After a day in the sun, a typical epidermal cell, such as those of the skin, has between 100,000 and a million damaged DNA regions as a result of ultraviolet light. Unfortunately, some molecules can destroy ozone without being changed in the reaction. The, this is a characteristic of molecules known as catalysts. Thus, one molecule of a catalyst can destroy many ozone molecules. There are several such catalysts, including free radicals resulting from water and nitric oxide. Nuclear explosions inject nitric oxide into the stratosphere and thus can decrease ozone levels. Many feel that the nuclear testing that occurred during the 1960s had an adverse effect on the ozone layer and that a large-scale nuclear war would drastically reduce the ozone layer.